actually the fact that I'm uh, looking a little different on the game than they are. I think sometimes people get a little stuck in their mindset. They've seen things been working for, for a lot of years and um, that doesn't necessarily mean it's right. I mean, and I think uh, some of the players are a little, um, they, they just go, go with the flow, they play the same style, even though the, the game of poker has actually changed the last couple of years with a kind of a new modern style, playing a lot more hands, seeing a lot more flops. And, and I'm, I think I'm very good at seeing uh, things from different points of view and, and then change for what is right in different situations. So I like to look very objectively and it might be right in one situation, but it's not always right. And that's, uh, I mean, that's the interesting thing about poker. I mean, there's different answers all the time, depending on, like you said, the players, the size of the chips and, and so on. I also have a very mathematical point of, of view, and that is, uh, like in, in uh, Hold'em, you have five cards down and two cards in your hand, which is a total of, of seven cards. And the three cards on the flop is actually 43% of your seven-card hand. So, I mean, you should actually see a lot of flops because it's such a big part of your hand. Of course, you need to start with a playable hand, but uh, I mean, the flop is just a key to every hand. Even though you start with a great hand, if it doesn't match the flop, you're usually out of there. So um, that's kind of my philosophy on that. Sometimes uh, my my ego plays a little trick on me because I, uh, I mean, when it's, it's not fun leaving the table as a loser and I kind of sometimes stick around too long playing in, in maybe not that great a situation just because I'm kind of convinced I can beat these guys and well, it's, uh, I mean, poker is a game of skill but there's also luck and anybody can win on ev any given day and it, sometimes when you lose and you lose a couple of unlucky hands, it kind of messes a little bit with your mind. So actually the, the best approach is, is really to play like short sessions when you're losing because you might not be in, in top shape of you might not be thinking the right way. And, and um, so short sessions when you're losing and, and long sessions when you're winning because usually when you're winning, the other guys are losing and you want to keep continue playing, they might not be on top of their game. So I'm definitely improving my, uh, my, uh, my uh, mental uh, attitude when I'm losing, but I, I still have some work to do. I think people in general in tournaments are a little bit too afraid. People have that philosophy, well, this is all I had. I can't, I can't buy in anymore. And they get a little bit too timid. Where in live games, you can always buy in for more. So, so in tournaments, they, they think about too much about their chips, and they should just go for, go for the guts. I mean, sometimes. So I think that's generally people's biggest mistake.